and welcome to the next tutorial on code blocks. Today you're going to learn about two new blocks, one modify and one control. Let's go ahead and get started with our favorite block. That's right, the red box, everyone's favorite. Now we're going to start with something we've already done, so relax, get yourself comfortable because we're about to get started and crazy. Obviously, we need to raise this up. Well, we don't actually have to raise it up. It just makes it a lot easier. So let's just run that right away. Wow, it gets me every time. I'm gonna try not to cry And how beautiful it is. Great, we did it, let's move on. Now, today you're actually gonna be doing the rotate tool and I've noticed some people are actually already using it. Shame on you, just kidding. I'm glad you're trying it. So, in the axis field, we have three options, X, Y, and Z, of course, because those are the axes that we always use when we're doing this. Now here, check this out. You can change the degree by which it rotates. So let's see what it looks like when we rotate 90 degrees in the X axis. So just to remember, this right here is your X axis and we're gonna rotate 90. Do you think this thing is gonna tip over to the right? Tip over towards you or somehow tip up. <laughs> Time's up, I'm sure you're wrong, let's move on. Oh, did you see that one coming? It went towards you. The x-axis, see the line, it went over the x-axis. Now we're gonna change this to y, and let's see if you can guess which direction it will be going. Will it be going towards or away from you? to the right or to the left or straight up into the air. Think, mm -hmm. I'm sure you're wrong, let's move on. Let's see. Ooh, let's see that one again in slow motion. Going up, it went to the right. That's because it is almost like jumping over the Y axis. All right, final time. We're gonna try it with Z. I'm not even gonna wait for you to guess because I, I already feel bad for you. So let's just go ahead and get started. Slow motion, yep. What? What, did you see what happened? It went around that way. Wow, my mind is blown. Luckily, I can talk without my mind. So let's get started again. We went 90, so you couldn't really tell if it changed anything. So let's change it to a different number. But before we do, Let's look at what all our options are. So there's zero, which does nothing. Many of you may understand what that feels like. 90, which we just saw makes it still look like a cube. I'm pretty sure 180 does the same thing. Yep. Now something weird happens when I cross this line. When I go past 180, something happens. It starts to become negative. So the biggest number in this box is 180 and then it goes back to zero. Hmm, that seems like a test question to me, doesn't it? Wink, wink. All right, so let's try a random number that is not 90, 180, or negative 90 because you can't really tell the difference. So let's just go to 45, 45. Now let's run it and let's try the X because for some reason I've always loved my X. Let's go. There it is. There it is. A thing of beauty again. All right, so we tried that. Now, let, can we duplicate this? Oh, look, right clicking, we'll duplicate it. But this time, we're gonna change it to the Y axis. So now we have it rotating by 45 in the X, 45 in the Y. But let's change this to something random, like, I don't know. 135, is that random enough? I don't know. So it should turn over towards us. Actually, let's reset this. Okay, <laughs> let's see what happens. Wow, that, that flipped pretty quickly. Let's see it again. It goes up, goes over the X, and then the Y. Interesting stuff. Now, when you're doing your next project, I would like you to use the pyramid, okay? So the pyramid. Now, you, when you're doing your project, you're actually gonna be doing X, Y, and Z. So make sure you give them all different numbers. But here's the thing. I want you to include our first control 
block. I know. We're going to put this right here. Actually, right there. Of course, you're going to have all three x, y, and z and change to different numbers. But let's see what happens if we do, do this twice. Let's see what that looks like. I'm a little nervous. OK, goes up. Then it's going to be flipped one, two, three, and four times because we repeated these two twice. Now in your project, again, I want you to have x, y, and z, and then repeat this a total of four times. That's right, this thing's gonna turn more than your stomach after eating the cheese pizza they serve at lunch. Four times. Sounds like another test question, doesn't it? Also, I would like your pyramid to be, hmm, pink. All right, so now that we've tried these, let's try something random for the people that aren't actually listening, but are watching the video and thinking this is the correct answer for some reason. Let's just play something random. What happens here? Let's see, it makes a copy. Okay. <gasps> That's kind of neat. I like that. Now, if somebody is looking at this and thinking this is the final answer, they're going to be like, all right, I'm going to turn this into Mr. Impro and I'm totally going to know they weren't actually paying attention. All right, so just to review, I used the red block. We moved it up from the bottom to the top. We tried out the x-axis, or we rotated around the x-axis by 45. What was the biggest number again we can go to? Hmm, good question. You're also going to be doing you know, X, Y, and Z, changing the numbers and repeating it a certain amount of times using a certain block that I think we all find pretty darn cute. Don't forget to share and the animated GIF. When you find where it is, drag it into an open email that you're, you have ready to send to me. All right, I think we're ready. Have a good day.